It seems someone was expecting you. Someone appears to have cursed the peasant's cow, and it stopped giving milk. You try to remember. Was this your doing? One way or the other, you whisper requisite zagavers, and now the animal will recover. The thankful hosts give you some fresh bread and a small pot of honey. The door to the abandoned banya opens with a shrill creak. After that, the old building is silent, waiting for the ritual to begin. You can only guess how this ritual will end. Some fitting spells come to mind. However, none of them were made to free changelings. Your heart skips a beat when you look upon the unknown, dim as the dark interior of a stove. You start with a usual summoning Zagavr, hoping that Nikolai's bride will answer you. Perhaps you'll just have to give her all of the requisite items. The Zagavr soon comes to an end, and the changeling girl stands before you. We brought the things we promised. Soon you'll be free. The girl tries to say something, but an unintelligible whisper is all that escapes her lips. Her entire figure seems tinged with smoke. What's going on? We can't understand you. The girl covers her mouth. Her figure screams despair. Tears drip from her empty eye sockets. You whisper an old Zagavr, and you finally understand what she's saying. Her voice calls to you, as if from far away. The one called Barnik dwells in darkness. She wouldn't let the accursed children go. The stove, the fire, the boiling water, the flay skin. These are the keys to her domain. I am the third from the left and all that is colored with blood. Mind you, that... The girl doesn't manage to finish the sentence. She is engulfed with flames and clouds of steam. The shelves fall over when a hole to the ethereal world opens like a maw. I've never seen such a thing before. So what now? We enter the abyss? That's nothing. We'll manage, won't we? The entrance to the underground burns with unbearable heat. You recall this happening when you stepped into the maw of the Hellhound. This time, old Yegor isn't around. 
Your confidence in your ability to get out is also nowhere to be found. You tell Nikolai to wait for you in the banya and step inside. The world flashes with blinding heat. You're familiar with the feeling of passing between worlds. However, once again, even on this, your third time, it sweeps over you like a sudden gale and slams you mercilessly to the ground. When you come to, you're surrounded by a ringing silence. Nikolai lies at your side. He too is stunned from the teleportation, but is already coming to his senses. He obviously didn't listen to your instructions. Kola, are you all right? I told you to wait in the banya. But I... I couldn't just leave you like that alone. I can keep it together now, I think. Well, the more the merrier, I suppose. Anyway, there's no way back now. Follow me. Such a fearsome girl. You'd better stay behind me. Don't get yourself killed. Did the girl say again? The stove, the fire, the boiling water, flaying the skin. Are the keys to her domain? Did the girl say again? The stove, the fire, the boiling water, flaying the skin, are the keys to her domain. You continue your journey into the domain of the Abdiricha. Nikolai tags along, constantly glancing around. You don't blame him, for you are also alarmed. And suddenly, it seems you are right to be. A couple of chorts bar your way. Thank <laughs> you. 
The defeated Chorts vanish into the thick subterranean shadows. You move further along the grim corridors. Nikolai follows you. You notice he's clenching the cross taken from the Ikotnitsa. His knuckles are white, and his hands shiver, but his eyes are full of determination. One tight corridor leads to another. The lower you go, the harder it is to breathe. Your path is lit only by burning embers and the scattered rays of the dawn coming from the human world somewhere above. It seems this journey will never end when suddenly a black figure bars your way. to you, Banacostas. Be so kind as to let us stay here, down below. Hear us out, Banyak dear! And why ourselves we did? I am the mistress here. Can't order me around, can you? Can you? What brings you here, down below? They say Bannocks rule over the Aspen Demons. Is it true? Why do we want to know? Why? So what if it's true? Maybe not. What then? We want to ask something else. What brings you here, down below? Why do you steal Christian children? Why don't you let them go? Who steals children? Who steals children? These are my children. It's quiet here in the dark. It's quiet here in the dark. It's warm from the stove. We're doing just fine here without you living ones. What brings you here down below? We came to ask for your daughter's hand. I have a young groom, you have a fine bride. Can we bring them together? No! There's no brights here below! Only embers. Embers burn. Warm old bones. Yeah? Who burned my arm then? An ember shaped like a hand? Ah! <sighs> Amarok! You find it out. Figure it out. Well, give us the girl. We know she's here. All right. Have it your way. We'll show you a bright. Not one, even not one. Choose the one that's yours. You chose wrong. You'd stay here. Here to stay. I'll steam your hair on a rake, then take off your skin.
What should we do, Aisha? They all look alike. You remember what the Changeling said in the Banya? I am the third from the left, and all that is colored with blood. She tried to say something else, but vanished. Well, I can choose on my own, I guess. After all, I'm to live with her. Well, go on. You called yourself a groom, so choose your bride. After some thought, Nikolai chooses one of the brides. <sighs> you chose. 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 Guessed it. You got lucky. Probably just lucky. How are they lucky? Why? We've chosen the bride. Now let her go. Give her back? Our girl? No, 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 no! We can't let her go, can we? No, a bride needs a dowry, right? Yes, I'll give you the dowry. I will. Choose the right one, and we'll let the girl go. Choose the right one. You chose! You chose! <laughs> you guessed it. But how? The girl told you. You couldn't guess any other way. You promised to give us our bride if we guessed right. You did, but you shouldn't have. Right? No, no. You won't live here alive. No, no. I'll flay your skin as a lesson. You promised to give us the bride. I will. I will. I will. Right after I take your skin.
riddles. Give us the girl. No, no! She's mine! Mine! Now you're mine too. Give us the bride, and we'll leave. No! No! Never!
quickly. We have to make it. Did you bring what I asked you to? Here is the belt and the cross. And your name is... <gasps> I can't believe it! Am I free? Yes, the demons can't hurt you now. It's dangerous to stay here. The place is unclean, not to mention all the logs flying around. Let's go to Ari's spa. We'll talk there. All right. <laughs> 